All right, everybody, places, places, it's time to shoot the news. We'll make sure everybody's ready to go. Brendan, is this camera on? Yes. You know how to operate the camera? I do. Thanks, Alan. Okay, you sure? I'm sure. All right, it's very important that you just point and shoot the camera. Okay. Okay, Becca, is there a tape in your camera? Yes, there's a tape in my camera. Are you sure? Yes. I'm only asking because last week there wasn't a tape in your camera. Is there a tape in your camera? Alan, there's a tape in my camera. Okay, just checking. All right. Angela, did you go over the copy? Yes, yes. All right, just read the copy. Smile at the camera. The camera is your friend. I'm all ready for it. That's what she said. Good one, Kane. Good one. Get your feet off the desk. I'm stretching. Get your feet off the desk, Kane. Come here. Put the coffee off the side. No, don't get up. All right, Steve. You know what? You're 21 years old. You don't have to tie a tie yet? I try. Alan, can I can do the... The screening by myself can she just go home no steve we need a female news it's good for ratings i could bring sit down the steve <coughs> all right everybody ready to go are we all set all right in five four three I am Stephen Kane, along with Angela Thomas, and this is the Buzz Update. I'm pretty excited for the screening. How about you? Well... Great! Me too. The big story for tonight, has the communications program gone asynchronous? Wait. I'm sorry, why are you using the word asynchronous? Well, that's the term that we use when audio and video don't match up. Can't you just say that there's an excessive amount of audio students and that the video students are slowly dwindling? I mean... I'm sure the audience could understand. You just gave away the big story. There's no more tension to build. I hope you're proud of yourself. Now we'll go to Jeremy Beitler, who is in Tech Services with the full report. Jeremy? I'm here at Tech Services, where all the audio and video equipment is stored. Here we have a student that works at Tech Services. Do you believe there to be an issue? Dude, I've never seen anything like this. I, all this, all, we have all these requests for H2s and studio times, but meanwhile, I'm sitting here with all this new camera and lighting equipment, all by myself. No one else here. As you can see, it seems that video students are becoming an endangered species. It seems we have a serious problem on our hands. I'm Jeremy Beiler with the Buzz Update. Back to you guys. This looks pretty serious. Indeed it does, Angela. I'm starting to feel the tension. But now, we have a music video entitled, I Just Wanted You To Know, done by Sean Vella and Mike Mola, and directed by Brett Williams, followed by COM 103 and 104 projects. Let's take a look. Steve? Steve, we're live. <laughs> oh, it looks like I got carried away. Where'd you get that, Hoagie? I got it at uh, the Science Center Auditorium. I got a whole bunch of them there. Well, you finish that while I... I will. It's delicious. Right. Well, now we go to Brendan Joyce, who earlier spoke with some of the DJs from Monco's radio station. Thank you, Angela. I'm Brendan Joyce, and I'm the Buzz Update Special Reporter. I'm here at 145. Earlier today, I talked to the DJs of Monka Free Rare and got their opinion on audio versus video. You know what I think about there being more audio students than video students? I think it's about damn time, because what the video students might have in looks or dedication or social graces, the audio students have in complete awesomeness. 
Plus, all the video students are <laughs> No, just kidding, but audio's way better. Audio versus video? Are you kidding? I run a radio station, I'm not even a comm student. We do game design. We make real things that people actually buy. I mean, who's buying any of the stuff anybody does here? Have you ever heard any of the projects? Have you ever seen what half the people look like? Video games. It's all about video games. You buy my products. Because I sell good stuff. Audio. Video. Please. This situation is looking very bad. Back to you guys in the studio. The situation is looking more dire as the day goes on. It's looking pretty bad. Well, let's look at some more projects. Those projects are looking pretty good. Indeed they are. Just as the audio students are increasing in numbers, so are the theater students. Out in the field again is none other than Jeremy Beitler. I'm here with theater faculty member Mike Whistler. Mike, what's going on in the theater? Theater? Theater faculty member. 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 Now up here. Theater faculty member. Theater Fac faculty member. member. There you go, now three times fast. Theater faculty member, theater faculty member, theater faculty member. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby bumpy bumpers. You see, now that's exactly why I'm teaching theater here at Monco. There's a lot going on in theater at Monco, so run the clip. Well, Angela, it looks like there's a lot of drama in the communications department. <laughs> oh my god, I need to get out of here. You get it? <laughs> Yes, I get it. <laughs> Making sure. All right, we're going to take another look at some other projects. Those projects looked like a lot of heart was put into them. I'm left wanting more. That's what she said. <laughs> Here is Neil Goldstein live from Times Square. I felt that that was a very good reading. Indeed, Angela, it was. I could mentally picture the script in my head. Now we'll take a look at some of the five-day film festival videos. Those videos were done by students in a span of five days who were given a prop, a line of dialogue, and a genre. But first, here's Lauren Keatley. Compliments go out to all of these students who partook in the events. Angela, did you like the videos? Yes, I did. I was in one. As you can see from the report by Lauren Keatley, we transformed my friend Hector into a werewolf using a curly wig. It was fun and exciting, and it taught me how to be conservative. Well, that's special, Steve. Thank you. Well, here's more footage of Fred and Joyce's story with the DJs. Thanks, guys. I'm back here at 145, and earlier today, I talked to a very special person. Yes, he's the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Active, Michael Hollis. I got his opinion on audio versus video. The audio is way better than video. I mean, that's why so many people is here because they know that the video sucks. And that's just what it is. I mean, it I mean, look at us. We got the nice cool stations. We got all the old threes. We got the best looking people in here. We got all the fine girls. We got, you know, we just do everything just so much better. I feel sorry for anybody that's in video. They might as well just go jump off a bridge or something. I mean, do the wise thing. Fall down a flight of steps. Go hide yourself in the closet. If I was a video, that's what I would do. But I'm an audio, so you know, I'm popping collars. I'm chilling here, just all comfortable. It is what it is. Mike Active, out. That's what Mike Active had to say. Back to you guys in the studio. You know, Angela, I don't know if this situation can be resolved. If it gets any harder, it's going to erupt all over us, and we're going to have a real mess on our hands. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, my God, you are a pervert. On a more serious note, let's take a look at some real broadcast journalism. You know, Angela, those journalism videos make us look like morons. Speak for yourself. I could call you a dumbass, which I do on a regular basis, but that wouldn't do you any justice. That's quite a saucy mouth you have on you there. You should hear me and the janitors call you when you're not looking. Right now, we shall introduce you to the Blue Zone. Be warned, these videos contain sensitive material. If you are not a fan of cursing, violence, or half-naked men lathered in baked goods, you were advised not to watch. Wow, some of those videos were highly offensive. Indeed they were. Maybe you should leave. And why would I leave? 
I probably should have told you this weeks ago, but I took it like right over your head. We have a special guest. I wanted to keep it a secret, but I couldn't. I don't know. You know, here he is, everybody. All right, Steve sister, Kelly. You're gonna have to get up. Time for the little news girl to take a hike. Hit the road, Angela. Let the big dog And take don't you over. come back yeah. until the next set of videos. No more, no more. <laughs> Steve, my friend, it is great to see you. It's good to see you too, Steve. From, Always a pleasure. Always from a pleasure Griff. to see you. Two men delivering the news. This is the way it should be, Steve. We are powerhouse players. Does this mean that you are coming out of retirement? No, it doesn't, Steve. It just means that I'm here to introduce to everyone the grand finale. We have a grand finale, Steve. Yes, we do, Steve. Sometimes, audio and video get together and they make something beautiful. Is this the Birds and the Bees talk again, Steve? Because you quizzed me on it last week and I failed it. <laughs> you did fail it, but no, it's not the Birds and the Bees talk. I'm just here to introduce the next video, which is a music video. The song was improvised and performed by Brett Williams. It features Hannah Sweeney. It was recorded and mixed by Sean Vella. The video was created and directed by Jerry Collum. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here is the cake song. It's good to have you back, Angela. Bite me. No, I am very much in the mood for some cake. And I want a new job. And I want you the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, um, this is where we sign off. It's been a great semester at Monco, and we've seen all the hard work put into those projects. All of you students who uh, move on to something great, you guys will be great. So thank you for being a part of the Monco life. And now, for Angela Thomas and the rest of the Buzz Update team, I'm Stephen Kane. Keep your pimp hands strong. You stay rocking, Monco.